In this video, I'll be showing you several sticker organization ideas. Let's begin with flat stickers. This is a 26 ring binder, size B6, which I got from Daiso. I'm generally a flipper type of person, so I like seeing all my stickers, so I would not forget them. In this binder, you can see that the lock is at the bottom and then you just swivel it and you can put in now the plastic sleeves so I'll just speed these things up and there now that it's in place we'll use this old notebook that I have since this is a spring notebook you can tear the pages and then you can use this as a backdrop for your stickers this can also help the sleeves to not fall down since the stickers are pretty heavy. So I usually just put one tape at the top and then I just slid it to the sleeves. The only disadvantage of when you tear the pages is the edges of the page of the notebook can hinder or slow down the process of sliding down the page so usually I do a separate page for the back so I can just pull it out when I need it in my opinion this next method is more uh, practical and convenient so you just remove the spring of the notebook and then you'll have the pages of the notebook and that's the one you use for your backdrops so when you've organized all your flat stickers here's what the clear binder would look like And I just put the extra for future use. This next one is also for flat stickers. This would work for those rectangular ones. This is a sticker album which I got from Daiso. This is a booklet with an elastic strap so your stickers inside will be secure. This is less tedious, you just slide the sticker set into the sleeves. Or if you have something like this which does not fit by a little only, you can remove it from the packaging and you can slide the acetate into the sleeves. I usually store my locally bought stickers here in this album so here's just a flip through of all the stickers this third one is for those you usually found in the kits at the size of 8x5 by 11 inches uh, and flat stickers so you just put this in a usual clear book and then you just slide the sticker kits inside. Next category, sticker flakes. First organization idea for sticker flakes, you have this trading card album where you can slide in the sticker flakes inside. I usually categorize this uh, according to similarities, florals together, and the other designs together. Here's a flip through once it's all done. Next is a postcard case. You can lift the cover up from here. And then you just put the whole packets of sticker flakes inside. 
Another way to store your sticker flakes is through the sticker album. This album is different from the previous one I showed you before because this has a is like a notebook with a release paper as the leaves of the notebook. So here you can just uh, stick your sticker flakes into this notebook so that it will be easier for you to remove it once you need it. Next is a calling card album. So if you have this calling card album wherein you slide the calling card or the card sideways, I got this idea from a fellow YouTuber as well wherein you can put washi tape of the sides so that the sticker flakes will not fall off. Again, here's just a quick flip through once you have a lot of stickers already. Next category are the dimensional stickers. These include the chipboard stickers, puffy stickers, and embellishments. I use a three ring binder for this one and then I just buy the clear book sleeves, the plastic sleeves. Just make sure that at least the three holes will fit into the holes of the clear book sleeves. So just like in the flat stickers, I usually tape the top portion of the sticker set to keep it in place. And just use a regular 8.5 by 11 inches copy paper to support the stickers. Usually, these stickers are really heavy since they are dimensional. So, you need the support of the three rings. And sometimes, I equally distribute two stickers into the paper so that the weight will be equally distributed. So here's a flip through of the three ring binder organization system. You might be wondering why I did not recommend the two ring binder. Well, here was my experience before. So the two ring binder cannot support the weight of the dimensional stickers, which was why I changed the system into a three ring binder. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and watch my other YouTube videos as well. Bye-bye!